cả anh em đứng đằng sau đi Gian đều đứng hai hàng Anh em mình đứng dội sang bên này đi Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the media. As you are aware, Vietnam has just been elected as a non-permanent member of the UN Chief Council with a large and uh, broad support of the membership of the United Nations. First of all, I'd like to extend our high appreciation and uh, our gratitude to all the membership of the UN for their precious and very kind support. We believe that the support, the broad support, of the membership of the UN shows their recognition of our tradition of holding high the principle of independence and also their recognition of their achievements in our process of comprehensive reforms and also in our foreign policy of peace, independence, and cooperation. It also shows the confidence in our constructive role, the role that we hope to continue to play at international forums, including at the UN. At the UN, as a new member, non-permanent member of the Council, we are committed to the values, to the purposes and principles of the UN Charter. We will try our best to broaden the partnership and work with all partners, those that are members of the Council and also members of the UN. We would try our best to work with all members of the Council and the membership of the UN on, on issues or, or on the items of the agenda of the UN to deal with both the traditional challenges to security and also the new non-traditional ones. But of course, we need to work together to prevent war, conflict, and we try our best to resolve the ongoing ones. And we would try our best to defend and protect the civilians, especially those, the women and children on the ground. Of course, we would work with the other members of the council to try our best to work on the current items on the agenda of the Council. At the same time, we'd like to emphasize the relationship between the Council, the UN, and regional organizations. ASEAN, for example, is a, an excellent uh, example of a successful regional organization. Secondly, as Vietnam went through decades of war, we hope that we can bring to the Council the experience of Vietnam, the country that has been able to rebuild the country after the war and deal with many other issues after the war, including landmines. Thirdly, we hope that we could also promote the interests and also the role of women and children in the prevention of war and in the building of peace. Finally, we also hope that together with other members of the Council and the membership of the UN, we can also enhance the effectiveness of the Council. Again, I'd like to, on behalf of the government and people of Vietnam, thank the entire membership of the UN for their kind and valuable support and thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Yes. So I think that uh, we are not going to have questions for this one, right? <coughs>
Reflection on what Vietnam will bring to the table, you played a crucial role in the summit regarding North Korea, and you'll, you're going to be on the council. What fresh ideas do you bring? Uh, regarding what summit? Yeah, North Korea. So we, uh, as you are aware, uh, we have uh, our policy is to promote peace and also to uh, our policy is for nuclear non-proliferation. So I think that that policy is also the policy of the international community. We have good relations with uh, both the U.S. and the DPRK. We also have uh, experience in our process of normalization and promotion of relations with the U.S. And also we have the uh, experience uh, in uh, economic reforms. So we hope that we can share with uh, our partners uh, in the council and those that might be uh, interested in working together with Vietnam to uh, promote peace and also uh, the, to deal with the issues uh, on the uh, peninsula in the interest of, uh, in the legitimate interests of uh, uh, all uh, parties involved and also in the interest of the region and the international community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for your attention.